in this video, I'm going to go over the fill and stroke panel over here on the right hand side under the documents. It's the third icon from the top. I'm going to do this actually in three separate short videos rather than to have one long one. That way, if you're looking for something that does has to do with patterns or gradients, you don't have to try to find it in this video. Okay. I think it would just be easier. All right. So first thing you want to do is select something on your mat. Doesn't matter if it's an object or if it's text and give it a color just by clicking on this square here. Make sure it says color and I'll change this to blue. And then you can give it a stroke, give it a color, choose the color, I'll choose this bright green here. And you can, on both fill and stroke, you have opacity. You can turn the opacity off on the color, you can turn it off on the stroke, but don't forget to turn it back up before you get ready to cut, or you may be cutting stuff you can't see. <laughs> Okay, so then um, for the stroke, we can increase the size or we can decrease the size. I'm going to have it quite thick right now. And then if I zoom in here on this K, I think you'll be probably be able to see it best. Um, we have a square which is the way it is now. If I click round, you see how that changed? Square, round, square. Okay, and then we have beveled. And if you check these corners out, I mean, it also changes these joins, but um, if you check out the tops of the letters, you can see that's square, that's beveled. Okay, and then you can change the miter. Uh, if you watch the R, you'll probably see it best. Okay, you can increase that and decrease that from 0 to 10, I believe. Yes. So you can adjust that. Okay, so the last thing that we have here is the line style. So let me go ahead and grab the draw tool, and I will left click, hold shift so it goes straight across left click again and hit enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this zoom tool here and zoom in on this line quite close. All right. So if I click in this box here, well, first I need to select this. Click on this box here. It gives me dashed lines. All right. So I'll go ahead and select one. And then I can edit that line. I can change the length of the dash. I can change the, the width, no, the length of the gap. So if I were to change the dash to 20 and the gap to 10 and click add, then you can see how it changed, all right? I can edit that again and I can have like this one five and this one 20 and this one five and this one 20 and click replace. And then you can see how different that looks. All right. So let me go ahead and undo those so I can get back to just my line and I will add a dashed line again. And then here we can change the end caps again. So uh, we have the butt cap, we have the round cap, and we have this one here. And this one here just extends the line a little bit on the end. So I'll go back to the square, and if you watch the line, I'll click on it, and it just extended it. So, uh, you know, I've seen some designs that have the, like a state, like 
Michigan and New York with a line to it. And I'll show you how to do that once we get up to the menu here. Uh, but that is the line style for dashed lines and how to edit. And that completes this video. Thanks for watching.